Welcome to Regular Guitars. Today, we are going to talk about the controversial, for classic strut tone purists at least, Clapton Boost. Characteristic of the Eric Clapton signature Stratocaster, nowadays can be acquired separately and be added to any strut. If you are interested to know how it works and what it's useful for, you came to the right place. First, we are going to talk about the history. It all started circa 1986. Eric Clapton been using since 1970 a strut built with parts of at least three different ones better known as Blackie. This guitar was really close to the end of its lifespan and couldn't even resist another refret. Dan Smith, who was the head of Fender at that time, suggested Clapton the idea to build some strut under his name and with the specs he preferred and especially copying the soft v-neck profile of the Blackie. Before presenting the prototypes to Eric, he was given some elite Stratocasters for that time, which, with their active circuits, uh, served a bit as a template for the ulterior Clapton the signature model. Among the specs requested by Eric was the option to fatten the tone. A dozen of neck prototypes were made, and two particularly stood out a blacky replica and a softer v-neck based on a pre-war Martin acoustic that Eric had around that time and that was the profile selected for the signature model. Another of Eric's requests was that the guitar would be made in three colors Ferrari red, 7-up green and charcoal grey. The first prototypes had the same active circuit as the Elite Strats with a TVX Tone Control, acronym of Tone Expander and a 12 dB boost in the mid-range. That was liked by Clapton, but he requested even more boost that ended being on 25 dB and the final version with lace sensor gold pickups in the production model. At the beginning, it was made only in three colors, Torino Red, Candy Green and Peter Grey. Eventually, a black and Olympic white will be produced. The circuit is extremely useful and adds a lot of tonal versatility to a strat. Since a few years ago, Fender offers the circuit separately and it's easily installable on any strut, in most cases with minimal routing on the front and back cavity near the springs to hold the 9V battery that fits the circuit. Noise cancelling pickups are not mandatory but recommended. Now we're going to see a couple of examples of the circuit at work on my podcaster and how it affects the interaction with the 2 amp. The strut is connected directly to a Fender Champ 5F1 clone with new old stock tubes and a period correct Jensen speaker. The volume control acts over the general volume as any strut. The central tone now is the general tone. The TBX on 5 is like a normal strut on 10. On 0, darkens the tone and on 10 it gets particularly bright. The second tone control now controls the boost. On zero, we have the normal output of the guitar and it saturates the amp as we roll it up. was useful to know more about this great circuit. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hitting the notification bell to keep updated when I upload new ideas. See ya!